Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of specific tracks in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to be able to change the tempo of just certain tracks in the project. Let's go through it. I have a video track and some dialogue that goes with it. Then I have an instrument track that has tempo with it, a string part that's played with MIDI, and then finally a sound effect, which is a thunder sample. Let's hear what we have, and we can see the video play along. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. <laughs> and it is in that characteristic that Superman stands alone. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. So like I said, I want the ability to change the tempo of the project, but just certain tracks in the project. And by default, if we go to the project settings, on the file, project settings, we could see that by default, the time base for our items are based on beats, position, length and rate, which means if we change the tempo of our song, it's gonna change all the tracks and their position, length, and rate. So right now, the project is 103 beats per minute. Let's try changing it to 110, and let's see what happens. All the tracks change the rate of their items. The video, the dialogue, the instrumental with tempo in it, of course, on MIDI and the samples. We can see the rate is changed on all of them. If we play it back. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. It still works, but I don't really want to change the tempo of my video or the dialogue. That was perfect. I want to change the music that goes with it. So let's put it back to 103 beats per minute, and now we'll change some settings. Like I said, by default, in the project settings, all our items are gonna change the same way. But we can change this setting based on each track. So if we select our video and the dialogue track and right-click it, we can go down here to track time base and change it just for these tracks. The project time base is a setting I showed you in the project settings, which is basically this one right here. Beats, position, length, and rate. But for the video and dialogue, we should change it to time. So the tempo changes we make won't affect our video or dialogue. Let's change the tempo now. And notice, only these tracks changed before and after. So now, our video and dialogue are going to play back normally, but we increase the tempo to be faster for this music track, our MIDI, and the sound effect. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. And we could change it to any tempo we want. We can go down a bit to 106 and try that out. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's... Or we can go slower, like 97, and see how that works. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to 
to become Spider-Man. But if we notice, the rate is changing on the instrument track and also our sound effect. And if you think about it, because the sound effect just triggers one sound, we don't need to time stretch this audio. Instead, we can just change the position. So let's put it back to 103, which is where we started. And let's change this track to be different. Select it and right click it, go to track, time base, and change this one to beats, position only. So now we change the tempo of our song. This sample isn't going to time stretch, but the position or where it sits on the timeline will move. So it'll always be in time with the tempo of our project, but it won't time stretch to do it and therefore change the sound quality. But this track and the MIDI should change as there's tempo or rhythm in this. And of course the MIDI plays different notes in tempo. So let's try changing this again. Let's go a bit faster to 106. And notice our video and dialogue doesn't change. This instrument track with rhythm does, our MIDI does, and the thunder sample just changed the position. It didn't time stretch or change the rate. So it's still gonna sound right without stretching the thunder audio like this. A staple of the superhero mythology is there's the superhero and there's the alter ego. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. When that character wakes up in the morning, he's Peter Parker. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. And it is in that characteristic that Superman stands alone. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. When Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. So in this way, we could treat each track in our project differently. We can have tracks like our video and dialogue that never change or adjust to the tempo. Then we could have music tracks with rhythm in them that time stretch to the new tempo, along with our MIDI tracks that of course also change to the tempo. And then finally, we could have sound effects or one shot samples that only change their position. So they don't time stretch and therefore affect the sound quality of the audio, but they stay in time with any tempo we change it to. So that's pretty much it. That's how to change the tempo of specific tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.